and I was just getting ready for an interview this morning and decided to just film it. So um, if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Bye guys. So I have already moisturized and primed my face and I am going to start with the eyes today. I'm going to go ahead and grab some scotch tape, just a small piece, and I'm going to stick that on the back of my hand to get the stickiness off. And then I am going to stick that on my eyes so when I do my eyeshadow, it's more of a defined line. And then I am going to go in with the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Ney. And I am going to take a more angled tapered brush and I am going to dip into the Millennial and brush that onto the crease of my eye, keeping most of the color on the outside corner. Morphe 350 palette and I am going to find that brown shade in between the burnt orange and the dark brown. It's kind of in between more coppery. Um, I'm going to take that shade and put that on top of the millennial that I just brushed onto my crease. smaller tapered brush to pick up a little bit more product and I am going to dip into girls night tap off the excess and I'm going to keep this color on the outer corner of my eye just blending it a little bit in but keeping most of the color on the outside denser brush and I am going to use the shade showgirl and I'm going to put this all over my lid where there is currently no product. and I'm going to use the shade Golden Nugget which is a very bright gold shade and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of both of my eyes kind of blending it out to showgirl. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender after pouring it on my hand and just kind of blot that all over the face. shade 230 which is a fair light and I'm going to dab this in an upside down triangle below my eyes and just kind of brighten that up. Uh. 
after that, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder, and it just looks like this. There's just one color in it, and I'm going to kind of just mattify my face and make sure my foundation is set, especially under my eyes and in my T-zone area. Makeup product, and this is the e.l.f. blush palette, and this is very, very pigmented. So be careful when applying. Make sure you blow off and tap all the excess. And I am just going to mix those two shades, kind of the bronzy shade and the pinkier, rosy, shimmery shade, and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. color icon bronzer and this is in the shade 739 ticket to Brazil and I'm going to take this elf contour brush and dip into that contour and I'm going to contour my cheekbones and the top of my forehead and just right below my chin just to kind of carve out my face a little bit more Champagne Pop by Becca and I am just going to take a fan brush and dip into that and I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones, the apples of my cheek, and the tip of my nose just to kind of bring light to the parts of my face that I want. brush them out and then I'm going to take a very dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and dip into that middle brown shade and I'm just going to fill in my brows that way. Going in between spoolie and filling them in so they're just right for me. by making this more of a flat brush instead of pointed in the middle and I'm going to start at the outer corner and work my way in and then I'm going to go even further out and do a wing. Better Than Sex Mascara, which I have been loving.
put that on my lips and you will see them in just a second. Ah!